Hello everyone, welcome to Registech. Myself Karthik Punnuswami. You are at the right place to learn in and out of Java concepts. If you guys are very new to our channel, please consider subscribe to it and don't miss to watch till the end of this in video. In these videos, we have learned about what is comparator and what is comparable interface and how it actually internally works. Now it's time to learn about what is the difference between these two and when we should go for what. Let's get started. I have written some key difference between comparable interface and comparative interface in Java. If you guys see here, comparable interface is used mainly if I want to go with default or natural sorting order. So what do you mean by default or natural sorting order? Let's say if I am trying to sort some value based on some numbers, then I am going to get in the ascending order. And if I want to sort it for some string, then I am going to get it as an alphabetical order. So alphabetical order means A to Z. Right. So if I want, if my requirement is like this, let's say uh, sort the numbers with ascending order or sort the strings in terms of alphabetic order, then I should go for comparable interface. So basically this is mainly to give a default or natural sorting order. But the other way around, right? if I want to go for my own custom sorting order, let's say I want to define my own order. If I want to give me some sorting order based on some values, right? You defining, let's say, descending order or some different order, right? Then I have to go for compar comparator interface. So both are mainly to use to get the sorting, but the difference between that is comparable interface is to get a default or natural sorting order, which means by default, it will use ascending order for numbers and alphabetical sorting order for strings. But in case of comparator, we can define our own custom sorting order. And if you guys see here in the comparable interface, if you guys go through the Oracle document inside the comparable interface, you will have a method called compare to off. Within that, you have to pass an object. So whenever you try to do our default or natural sorting order, you have to override this method. Okay, compare to off object. And in terms of comparator, we have two methods. The one is compare of object one come object two. Basically, like we have to give two objects, two parameters here, and the method name is compare of. And there is another method which is equals of. Basically, we don't touch that one. We usually override this compare compare of uh, method. So this one comparable interface is coming under Java dot lang package, and the comparative interface is coming under Java dot util package. The reason is that if I by if I want to go with the default, so by default the language the Java language provides. So that is why they call it as uh, comparable interface is under Java dot lang package. And this is kind of utility. I want to go with my own sorting order, isn't it? That's why it is coming under java.util package. So later they realize that they, uh, if uh, the developer wants to do their own implementation of sorting, they want to say have some uh, implementation class, right? So that is why they create this uh, interface comparator. And that is why they put it in a java.util package. And if you guys see here, all the wrapper classes, let's say example string or any, any all the wrapper classes are uh, using this comparable interface but there are only two classes which implements this comparator interface basically they call it as collator and rule based collator we never use this one in the real time these classes but just to know what is the difference between comparable and comparator this is very important if you guys go for any interview there will be a question like they will be try to test whether you really use these two methods or these two interfaces in your real time programming so this is very good to know how it actually differs and when we should go for what Thanks so I much. hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly, but still, if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required, please post your comments in the comment section and I will be more than happy to assist. Keep watching all our videos. There are a lot more videos to come. And if you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next interesting video, guys.